what is going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the RC garage and today I have another unboxing for you guys it's been a while since we did an unboxing the last unboxing was the Creighton and I was all the way back in November it was a Black Friday and I don't think I opened it till probably early December the the video was posted so it's been that long since we had a new RC car on the channel but now we have one um, it is if you guys saw by the title it's a nitro buggy it's my first buggy ever nitro or electric but I decided to go with the nitro buggy just because I started off at nitro and um, it's kind of cheap just to like start off with the buggy and then most other buggy kits since they're mostly used for racing um, they're kind of expensive so I just went with this kit I'm not it's not not a kit but it's an RTR but I just went with this one because it's kind of cheap and it's made by Kyosho which is a reputable brand and uh, yeah so I thought I'd just go with this one because why not but yeah, let's get into the unboxing. All right, guys, here's the box. I've actually had it for a few days already. It's been like, what's today's Sunday, so and I got it on Friday. So I haven't opened it up because I wanted to open it up with you guys oh, on camera. And um, I just haven't had time, but I finally have a little bit of time right now. So let's get this unboxed. I didn't even open the box it came in. This is not even the actual box that the RC is in. This is the box box. But uh, yeah, let me just unfold this knife because I can't do it with one hand. All right, let's go. First one. Oh. I just don't want to cut the box. Oh, jeez. Sides. Okay. There it is, guys. I don't really. That thing, a freaking A main, of course. We get most of my RC stuff. Um, I do have a uh, what's it called? A hobby shop, um, like 30 minutes away from me. But um, they really only carry tracks and stuff, and then some pro line stuff. And that's pretty much it. They're big. They sell a lot of tracks and stuff. They don't really have like this stuff, like Kyoshos or Armas or stuff like that. They're more just uh, Traxxas oriented. But I still go there if I need a Traxxas part that I need, like, like in a hurry. Um, I'll just call them up, see them. But I usually just get all my stuff from A Main. They have every brand, everything you want. Ugh. Boom, there it is, the Kyosho Inferno Neo 3.0. So, let me get this big box out of the way and then we'll have the smaller box. All right guys, so that's the top of the box right here. Let's go over the sides, okay? That's in a different language that I do not understand. But, there's pictures on the sides. Okay, here we go. This is, this is a language I could read. There you go, so just, you know, the basic RTR um, transmitter and receiver. High torque type servo, KE21 SP engine, full ball bearings, universal swing shafts, front suspension, double disc brakes, big bore shocks, block pattern tires, front shocks there. But yeah, that's basically, you know, the main specs that they put on the box. I already cut the seals, I just cut them right now as I was removing the big bars just so we could be easier for me on camera even though it's probably not going to be easy okay come on there we go boom okay and i did get the orange version um i couldn't decide because you know both colors weren't really appealing to me as much so i let my girlfriend decide and she decided on orange which I feel like it was a good choice. I don't really have brightly colored cars. So, this thing's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Like I said, I've never had a buggy before. Whew. Ugh. Let's get this out of the box. It's, it's a lot bigger than I thought. I mean, it's not big compared to the Arma, so. Here's the paperwork, nothing in there, you know, tracks, it just has the bind um, thing that we need, probably. 
but you know, tractor stuff usually comes with a lot of stuff and that one doesn't really come with anything here's the receiver I hear metal oh maybe here's where um, there's some extra parts and stuff let me see open this up I don't know if I just heard the receiver but I feel like I hear metal banging in there I don't know what that could be probably just some tools this is hard with one hand gosh all right guys here is the remote um i actually like the shape and color i mean it does uh feel a little cheap plasticky it's very light um but i guess you could uh one hand steer a little bit but yeah there you go simple dial steering trim throttle trim dual rate oh and point adjustments all right so there's a third channel i guess Okay, put that off to the side. Awesome. Yeah, and just some tools. And I don't know if that's an extra air filter or if this is the one that's supposed to go on it. But yeah, tools, air filter. Okay, get this box off to the side. And here we have the main car. So I actually like the orange, you know, it's kind of growing on me a little bit. But let's take these pins off. Oh gosh. Ah. Oh, this one's tight. Ow, my fingers. Jesus. Ah, there we go. Gosh. Alright. So, woo, the best part. I probably should have kept the clips on for this because now it's going to fall up. Woo. Nice and shiny. It's a shame this thing's going to have to get dirty. Woo. Look at that. It's a very pretty car. Very pretty. The orange is starting to grow on me a little bit. I like it a lot. Alright, so here you go. These are pretty big shocks. They weren't uh, lying. Big bore shocks. Here's the wheels right here. Beautiful car. Beautiful. Engine's pretty big too. Um, there is some side shots, and I'll take the I'll take the body off right now. Wing, nice wing. Go to the other side. Beautiful car. Looks very pretty. Okay. Ugh, take the body off. Oh, and there is the chassis. Uh. What is, what is this? Steering servo? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I, I forgot that a little bit. Um, throttle, brake servo, and then I'm pretty sure this is a battery pack. I'm not sure if it came with um, a battery pack or it uses double A's. Oh, gosh. Let me see. I, I hope this is the... Oh, okay. So, yeah, double A's, as you can see right there. But it does have the connector. Okay. So, I could just buy a hump pack um, easily and just plug it in right there. So no problems there but to first run it all you need is some double A's put that back um, and then this is the, obviously where the receiver is engine right here oh so okay so yeah the air filter does go on it was an extra so the air filter comes in the little bag um, gas tank Jesus with a tight seal but yeah I mean Everything looks very high quality. I mean, it's it's from Kyosho. It's from a reputable brand, so I didn't expect it to look cheap or anything. Even though it was on the cheaper side for buggies, I guess. So A Main's website had it up for um, three fifty. I know other places have it more expensive, like Horizon Hobby or Tower Hobbies have it in the fours. They're like four twenty, but um, I think it was on sale actually last week so the sale's not happening more but it was on sale for like 380 on horizon hobbies website like a few weeks ago but yeah this is the chassis I'll give you a closer look just over the top go a little slow so you guys can see everything very nice car so like i said my first buggy so i just want to um this is going to be you know a basher but then there's also a track about 30 minutes away from me 
and uh, I'll take it there some days because you know buggies are more for racing and stuff and not really for bashing even though there are bashing buggies but you know um, I'd like to take it to the track and stuff and see how it performs because you know eventually I do want to get into racing um, even though it, it intimidates me um, a lot but yeah I do want to eventually get into racing and I think this is just a good entry card not to get into racing but just to learn how to work on a buggy or how a buggy handles and performs just to get kind of step into the world of racing but not really I doubt I'll ever race with this or ever put it in a race but I do want to take it to the track and just see how driving it on a track is but yeah guys there you go there's a spur right there right gosh where's my, where's my finger there there it is. there's a spur right there um and yeah everything looks good i mean i'm pretty sure servos are not going to be the greatest and i'll probably have to update them at a certain point but everything looks nice everything looks good so yeah guys that was just a simple unboxing and then um We'll definitely be running this in the next couple of videos and stuff. You'll get to see how it performs. And I can't wait to break it in and uh, see how it does. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you have a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.